Hi. In this video, we'll look at using Burp Suite to test for directory traversal vulnerabilities. Directory traversal vulnerabilities, which you may also hear being called path vulnerabilities, allow an attacker to read arbitrary files on the server running an application. This might include application code and data, credentials for backend systems, and sensitive operating system files. You can use Burp Scanner in Burp Suite Professional to automatically flag potential directory traversal vulnerabilities. You can also use Burp Intruder to insert a list of directory traversal fuzz strings into a request. The strings may enable you to read arbitrary files on the server. We'll be using the File Path Traversal Traversal Sequences Stripped with Superfluous URL Decode Lab from our Web Security Academy if you'd like to follow along with the demo. First of all, we'll use Burp Scanner in Burp Suite Professional to test for directory traversal vulnerabilities. Once the lab has launched, identify a request you want to investigate. For this demo, we're going to use a request for one of the product images, which I can find here in my proxy HTTP history tab. Right click the request and select Do Active Scan, and Burp Scanner will begin to audit the request. You can review the Issue Activity panel on Burp's dashboard, or in the details for the scan task, to identify any directory traversal issues that Burp Scanner flags. Alternatively, we can use Burp Intruder to test for directory traversal vulnerabilities. This process also allows you to closely investigate any issues Burp Scanner has identified. From the Proxy HTTP History tab, identify the request you want to investigate. We'll use the same request as we did for the first example. Right-click the request and choose Send to Intruder. Switch to the Intruder tab and highlight the parameter you want to test. Click on Add to mark it as a payload position. On the Payloads tab, if you're using Burp Suite Professional, you can select the built-in Fuzzing Path Traversal word list or create your own. If you're using Community, you'll need to manually add a list. Click Start Attack. Intruder will send a request for each fuzz string on the list. When the attack has finished, Check the results for any interesting behaviour, such as responses with a longer length. These may contain data that has been returned from the requested file. 